जय हिंद एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर क्लास ऑफ ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन अंडर यूनिट थ्री इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल कवर द टॉपिक एलईडी पावर एंड एफिशिएंसी सो बेसिकली इन दिस वी विल स्टडी इंट्रोडक्शन और वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एलईडीज एंड देन वी विल कैलकुलेट द एलईडी पावर एंड डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एफिशिएंसी और टर्म एफिशिएंसी दैट वी यूज्ड इन द केस ऑफ ऑप्टिकल सोर्स लाइट एमिटिंग डायोड एलईडी so first of all the working principle of led basically leds are the optical sources which are used in the optical communication for generating the carrier signal in the form of light for achieving the intensity modulation or we can say that for modulation purpose as well as for converting the electrical signal into the optical form so basically leds are used for generating carrier signal for achieving modulation and for mainly for e to o conversion and optical sources are generally used on the transmitter side on the transmitter side of the optical communication system and optical sources work with forward biasing okay so what happens when the optical sources are forward biased minority carriers are injected or electrons are injected or after forward biasing energy is absorbed and absorption occurs that is whenever there is forward bias there will be phenomena of absorption and electron will jump from lower state to higher state so in this case we have a electron over here and a hole over here now this electron in the higher state is unstable and after some time in a random manner it will come down and whenever it will come down there will be a recombination of electron and hole pair here electron and hole pair will recombine so by the recombination energy equal to this band gap energy equal to this band gap that is e2 minus e1 higher state to lower state is released and this in the case of led this is released in the form of light or we can see that by the electron hole pair recombination photons are generated a photon will be generated or light will be emitted so by the recombination of electron and hole pair photon is generated this principle is used in the case of led and this is termed as spontaneous emission so in the case of led when the led is forward biased there will be absorption electron hole pair will be created electron will jump into the higher state and it is unstable after some time it will come down and there will be recombination of electron and hole pair and by the recombination photon is generated or energy equal to this band gap is released in the form of photon or light this is the spontaneous emission whereas in the case of laser we use stimulated emission where instead of few photons large number of photons are generated basically in this case we achieve we ensure higher densities of the electrons in the higher state and we forcibly try to bring them down so that electron and hole pair can recombine to bring them down we use external particles or photons and we ensure that this external particle photon has the same characteristics as the this photon 
so basically external photon is used to bring this higher state electron to the lower state and there will be recombination and one photon will be generated so one photon is this one and one is generated after the recombination so now we will have two photons having the same characteristics so now these two photons can be used further to bring down more number of electrons and to generate more number of photons so these two will generate two further more two photons then four will generate the eight photons eight will generate the 16 photons so in this way the number of photons keep on increasing in the case of stimulated emission and we get a coherent monochromatic and a focused beam of light in the case of region now we will discuss the term efficiency for the laser okay basically now we have studied that in the laser in the optical source led let's say this is the led okay when it is forward biased when it is forward bias basically we have studied that when it is forward bias there is an active region in the active region electrons are injected electrons are injected and there is recombination of electron and hole pair after absorption electron and hole pair are recombined and by the electron and hole pair recombination light is generated or photons are emitted So inside the LED, inside the active region, when it is forward bias, electrons are injected and due to absorption after that there is a phenomenon of electron and hole pair recombine and after recombination photons are emitted. So this is happening inside the LED. So here we can calculate the internal power or internal efficiency that is we can compute here is p internal and sometimes we also compute the a term known as efficiency that is known as here is quantum efficiency basically quantum efficiency we calculate in terms of number of carriers so basically efficiency is nothing but it is carrier at the output to the carrier at the input so at the output what we get photons in the input what we are doing injected electrons so the efficiency can be simply computed as number of photons generated inside to number of injected electrons okay now this led which will emit light into some medium So, a fraction of this P internal will be there in the medium that is emitted, emitted or external. 
सो ए फ्रैक्शन ऑफ पावर इन साइड द एलईडी इज एमिटेड इन टू द एक्सटर्नल मीडियम और मेटीरियल सो दिस इज नोन एज एमिटेड और एक्सटर्नल सो हेयर वी कैन कैलकुलेट इज वट वी कैलकुलेट इज पीई नोन एज द एमिटेड पावर और एक्सटर्नल पावर इन द एलईडी एट द इनपुट वी कैन ऑल्सो टेक द पी इलेक्ट्रिकल और सिंपली पी बिकॉज ऑप्टिकल सोर्सिस आर यूज फॉर कन्वर्टिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल टू ऑप्टिकल सो वी कैन ऑल्सो कैलकुलेट द एफिशियंसी हेर एज एज पीई बाय पी इंटू हंड्रेड दैट इज दिस एक्सटर्नल और एमिटेड पावर इज ए फ्रैक्शन ऑफ दिस पी इंटरनल दैट इज अपियरिंग आउटसाइड इन ए मीडियम नाउ दिस एमिटेड पावर मे बी ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू ए फाइबर देर विल ऑप्टिकल फाइबर नाउ ए फ्रैक्शन ऑफ दिस ऑप्टिकल पावर विल गो इन साइड द फाइबर विच इज नोन एज लॉन्चिंग ऑफ ऑप्टिकल पावर इन टू द फाइबर और कपलिंग ऑफ ऑप्टिकल सोर्स इन टू द फाइबर सो द पावर इन साइड द फाइबर दैट इज कपल्ड इज नोन एज द पीसी पावर कपल्ड एंड हेयर वी कैन ऑल्सो कंप्लूट द एफिशियंसी कपलिंग एफिशियंसी इटा सी and measure of power inside the optical power inside the optical fiber power coupled or launched into the fiber is measured in terms of numerical aperture that further depends upon acceptance angle theta a so here we can calculate external or emitted power or we can also calculate the external efficiency so these are the different terms related to or concept related to led efficiency we can also compute the power basically in the case of led electron and hole recombine and photons are generated and photons are generated by the recombinations so if we compute the num total number of free combinations total number of recombinations and after recombination one photon is generated and we know that power corresponding to photon energy is hf so total number of recombinations multiply by the power or energy corresponding to one photon in this way we can calculate the optical power so basically we are computing the number of recombinations and one recombination is resulting into photon so this is denoting the number of photons and power or energy corresponding to one photon so in this way we can compute the power corresponding to led one more important point here is that we are basically generating the photons by the recombination of electron and hole in practically practical case each electron and hole recombination does not produce light basically this recombination is of maybe of two types one is known as radiative and another is known as the non radiative this radiative recombination result into the light or photon whereas this non radiative non radiative recombinations result into only heat so the useful recombinations for the led are only radiative so basically we have to compute the efficiency in terms of only the radiative recombinations now this term efficiency
maybe you can also be computed in terms of two small this is basically recombination rate and capital r that is basically number of recombinations so efficiency can be computed either in terms of this and that so simple is efficiency we can compute is efficiency equal to radiative recombination rate divided by radiative plus non radiative this simply can be represented as rr by rt or simply we can represent as number of radiative recombinations divided by total number of recombinations so this is the concept that we have explained thoroughly so now we can see in terms of this so that is internal efficiency or quantum efficiency can be computed in terms of number of photons generated to the injected electrons that is in terms of carrier it is the ratio of number of photons generated to the number of electrons injected when it is followed by and led efficiency is generally low it is around 50% by using some special techniques that can be increased up to 60 to 65% this is the excess minority carriers in the led active region we can see that the excess minority carrier density of electrons this is the initial density it is keep on decreasing exponentially with the time where this tau is known as the lifetime of the carrier this is the rate this is the rate of change of excess minority carrier density when the recombination starts and after some time there will be state of equilibrium that is here are the injected electrons are injected and here we have the recombination so at equilibrium after some time it will become equal to zero or we can have j by ed nearly equal to delta n by tau where this is per unit of time so this is indicating basically rate rate of recombination that is divided by small r so basically we are having total number of recombinations rt equal to radiative plus non radiative and total number of recombinations rt equal to followed by current i by e okay so we can also compute the efficiency we have term internal efficiency equal to radiative recombination rate divided by total recombination rate that is radiative plus non radiative that we have studied moreover the efficiency can be radiative number of recombination divided by total number of recombinations okay so from this we can calculate radiative recombinations which are useful rr equal to eta internal into rt okay and this total number of recombination that we have studied is i by e so it is radiative recombination equal to internal efficiency into i by e and this number of radiative recombination result into photons so basically it indicates the number of photons so 
द पावर और इंटरनल पावर इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ फोटॉन्स और रेडिएटिव रिकॉम्बिनेशन मल्टीप्लाई बाय द पावर ऑफ वन फोटोन एच एफ सो इन दिस वे वी कैन कंप्यूट द इंटरनल पावर और इंटरनल एफिशिएंसी फॉर द एलईडी एफिशिएंसी कैन आल्सो बी कंप्यूटेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस लाइफ टाइम ऑफ कैरियर एंड वी नो दैट दिस आर इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टाउन टाइम सो इट विल बी रिवर्स सो एफिशिएंसी विल बी ईटा इंटरनल इक्वल टू टोटल टाइम डिवाइडेड बाय टाइम कोरिस्पोंडिंग टू रेडिएटिव एंड दिस टोटल टाइम इज गिवन बाय दिस दैट इज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ लाइफ टाइम ऑफ कैरियर कोरिस्पोंडिंग टू रेडिएटिव एंड नॉन रेडिएटिव दैट इज दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इंटरनल एफिशिएंसी इक्वल टू टोटल लाइफ टाइम ऑफ द कैरियर डिवाइडेड बाय द लाइफ टाइम ऑफ द कैरियर कोरिस्पोंडिंग टू रेडिएटिव दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड ड्यूरिंग द कंसेप्ट द एफ इलेक्ट्रिक पावर कन्वर्जन एफिशिएंसी कैन बी कन्वर्टेड एट एमिटेड पावर डिवाइडेड बाय द इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर मल्टीप्लाई बाय 100 एंड वी हैव आल्सो स्टडीड दैट द पावर कोरिस्पोंडिंग टू एलईडी out of that will be emitted power and this emitted power will be a fraction of this internal power so the corresponding formula is external or emitted power as a fraction of internal power f is known as the transmission factor n is the refractive index of the medium where the light is being emitted 4 into nx square this nx is the refractive index of material of led so the external or emitted power may be represented as a function of in internal power using this formula next is we can also compute the coupling efficiency for computing of coupling efficiency we are considering here is a planar led with lambertian distribution pattern where this angle is theta this light may go into the fiber so for angle 0 to theta a it will go in the fiber and outer limit will be 0 to pi by 2 so we can compute the coupling efficiency here as as ratio of power in the fiber to the power emitted power in the fiber is 0 to theta a whereas power total power emitted is 0 to pi by 2 that we have seen previously so this is the integral after solving this we compute coupling efficiency eta c nearly equal to sin square theta a that is numerical aperture square so the coupling efficiency can be measured in terms of numerical aperture or acceptance angle useful light inside the fiber is that light that is within the acceptance angle theta a or within the acceptance cone theta a 2 theta and numerical aperture also signifies the light gathering or collection capability of the fiber which is denoting the power coupled or launched into the fiber coupling efficiency moreover this coupling efficiency will also depend upon the brightness of the source but as a fraction of this coupling and numerical aperture so that's all for this lecture